Aloha from Maui. This is Terry Edmonds. Thank you for joining me today on my wonderful video about how to paint leather shoes. In this video, I'm going to paint this shoe and I'm going to paint it white. So uh, the supplies, we're just going to get right to it. Um, first of all, I am Terry Edmonds. I am a shoe cobbler, a shoe designer, an entrepreneur. I have a store in Maui, Hawaii called If The Shoe Fits, and I'm the island's only cobbler. I've been doing it for over 20 years, and I help people with hard to fit feet, things like that, but I really love to do art for a living, and this gives me the chance to do it. So in my shoe repair business, this is a client here. Uh, she brought in this Adidas, and it's a really awesome Adidas. I looked it up. You know, it's one of her favorites. It's kind of old and dingy right now. And uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, paint it. Well, first we're gonna clean it. I use the Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. I have uh, many videos on my Amazon Live shopping, car uh, shopping cart. Uh, you can find all of these supplies. This is everything I use in my business daily. So I use the gallon version of the Easy Suede Cleaner. It says Easy Suede, but it's actually for everything. It's so fantastic. I use it on canvas suede, uh, leathers, it just is not harmful. It's a really light uh, detergent, but it also has these little crystals in the bottom of it. And um, those little crystals, when you wash the shoe, it actually lifts the dirt to the surface. And then we go ahead and wipe it off with a towel. And then I like to have a Tupperware dish on hand because I, I use it all the time. So we're gonna clean it. Then we're gonna go through and we're going to uh, paint it. And the black is actually okay here. <clears throat> this is a real leather, it looks like. So that I would dye and polish, but I might actually put some paint on that today. This is specifically leather paint by Angelus. They are just really awesome. I've tried a couple of other paints, but Angelus has a ton of colors. So um, we'll paint this. When you get a uh, white, on a shoe and you have scuffs or things like that, there's just no way to make it look new again without painting it. So I pretty much tell everybody that, just paint the white. And if you do it in really light layers, um, it won't flake or crack over time. And this uh, paint is meant to be flexible. So I have a plumbing company behind me. <laughs> my, this is my YouTube studio and my shoe store. So if you hear some noise, uh, we just have company with us today. So, okay, so there we have that. Um, in the shopping list, you're gonna see, um, I put a whole assortment of Angelus paints. And then I also included uh, a uh, acrylic finisher, which you can do. Uh, we're not gonna do that on this per se because it's a matte finish on the plastic. So we don't want it shiny or anything like that. And then the brushes, uh, you're gonna see in the shopping cart, if you look under uh, painting or even dyeing, I've included a my very favorite paint brushes. And I swear I use these all the time. And you know, my business calls for dyeing and painting. So when it comes to the dyes, I keep, I have like a whole package of these just for, you know, certain colors. So blacks and browns, and I just dedicate that because once you do, use a brush on dye, it turns it, you know, it's, it's forever meant to be for dye now. You really don't want to go back and use regular paint on that. So I just, they're so affordable. Oh my gosh, whether you get, it, whether you get them on a discount or not, it doesn't matter, they're worth it. They even sell them in a five pack, which I, I have here in the store, but I don't have it on display for you guys to see. Um, but it's really nice, I'd get that. And so, especially if you have a crafter at the home. All right, so here we go, let's get started. We're gonna do this uh, up until about 10 o'clock and it might take that long. I really wanna clean the shoe because as part of the full makeover, well one, I wanna lift the surface dirt before, before I put my brushes on it. And even though I'm cleaning it with this cleaner, I actually already sanitized it with some ultraviolet and some, um, ozone overnight so it sanitizes the shoe all right so let's get going you guys this is such a cool i love painting the angelus there are a bunch of people out there on youtube i have a youtube channel too and um they do a lot of painting shoes so there's oh, so much out there 
uh, for you to reference. All right, so the key to this is really um, getting a good suds on the shoe. And I'm not gonna even take off the laces, I'll just kind of clean it all. So uh, for uh, those of you that are catching this video on my YouTube channel after I've already done the live, um, I'll show uh, what this looks like at the very, very end, because sometimes you run out of time. So if, if we don't get to see the after shot today, you can always find it on my Amazon shop, I'm assuming, my YouTube channel. And that's under Terry Edmonds as well. And I also have a website, terryedmonds.com. And I have that link to this Amazon shopping cart. Um, all my supplies are on Amazon, so. And it's everything I use in my business. All right, so what I'm doing is I am creating a real suds here. And that's what those little specks and the cleaner are lifting the dirt to the surface. And then you just wipe it off and let it dry. Um, let's see. I like this color. This is really fun. I forget. This is called the super, super something. This Adidas style. And it sure is cute. I love this uh, South Beach color. So I also um, have a lot of different videos on how to uh, mix colors, things like that. I did an at home series for people who are aspiring, uh, wanna work from home. And uh, again, if you're one of those people, if you're watching this just to fix your shoe, great. You'll get all the info you need. Now we're gonna go ahead and just do this. Oh, let me do the fabric too. Cause this will really lift the shoe. You know, it's dirty inside the shoe, you see that? Uh, so we're gonna just clean it and this will lift that dirt. So this product is called the Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. And it is fantastic. So while this, you know, the interior of the shoe dries, we can go ahead and paint the front. And the painting is my favorite part. <laughs> I love to paint. I'm so glad I get to do art for a living. So um, uh, those of you that are watching, if you get a chance to send me a, a little shout out as to where you're from where you're watching, I'd love to know. Uh, it's so exciting. Um, I don't know if you've been to Maui before. If you've been to Maui, say so, you know, where you guys were. And I've been out here for about 25 years and I love it. And see, we don't have a lot of shopping out here. We've got some, but not a lot. So Amazon has been really helpful for me. Um, I get a lot of my stuff from Amazon. Uh, let's see, there we go. All right, so that's really nice. And it doesn't look like much right now, but as it dries, the fabric will lift in color and it'll be a bit more vibrant. So let's go ahead and uh, definitely, let's just get this in here. You know, I think I'm gonna take off these laces. I don't wanna take a chance. I wasn't going to, but I guess I can uh, just do it. Um, okay, so there's some other things. If this shoe, if I were to paint the leather, you know, this shoe's kind of old, so it has lost its luster on the outside of the shoe, which also sometimes means like the wax finish that they put on it. So when you have that already happening, you don't need to strip the leather. Uh, like for instance in this one, it definitely has been worn enough. I don't need to strip the leather before I paint it. If you had a shoe that had like a brand new finish on it and you were going to try to paint it, I would definitely take some paint thinner or even like a nail polish remover and just real lightly um, go over the surface of the shoe to strip any waxy finish. And it's the same thing when you dye leather. Um, but again, if the, if the leather's already dry, it's not going to matter. And, you know, we are going to go ahead and put paint on the black. Because um, I think with how much wear and her age and stuff, that just a regular polish isn't going to do the trick. So let's just do this. Awesome. I love the metal detailing that really dresses up a shoe. Uh, I design shoes and my uh, logo I do in gold foil. That's always fun. 
Okay, so you can even see here how the shoe uh, used to be um, white and now it's faded to this yellow. And the cleaner wasn't enough to, to lighten up the sole. So things like Vans, um, some of the Nike products, you know, Nike does a lot of soles that are white. Okay, so here we go. And these uh, jars, this is a one ounce jar of, of paint that would last a long time. It'll cover many shoes, etc. I use a lot of the white to uh, make other colors. For instance, if I were to paint this a green, um, I would mix, you could do a number of things. They have this one called Gift Box Blue, which is a little on the blue side. I'd probably add a warm yellow to it. And then the South Beach is almost perfect. I think though I would add a little bit of this, like a, a natural color to it to kind of warm it up, but also lighten it up. In this case, we don't have to worry about it. And I'm not gonna use the brush in the lid. I like to use my own paint brushes. And I think I will use this one. This is a good one. All right, this will work. This is about a half of an inch. I like that. And you can go ahead and put it on your uh, little palette if you'd like. I'm gonna probably do that. I think I will do that. And the other trick is, and really the only trick is to do it in light coats so that it actually doesn't crack. Oh my gosh, this is my most fun part of the job. I love it. And don't get it off the edges. And again, um, I'm gonna try to get it, not get it on the edges. I do a lot of like other shoes that I would use just the white, like let's say a golf shoe. I get a lot of golf shoes, and um, this leather, uh, this paint doesn't dry out the leather, uh, especially if you do it in the light coats. This is gonna look so much better. There we go. It's got these little ridges in it, so I have to really get that paint in there. Um, what else? So um, with the Angelus, I probably have every single one of the colors. I find that the color chart um, that they offer, eh, it's, it's not totally accurate, so, um, you know, it's kind of nice to have the collection, especially for me, I like to have the collection on hand. And if you're a crafter, uh, just buy it. Just buy some of the good, good basic colors. Um, the hardest color for me to do is beige. There are so many different varieties of beige. They can go into the cool tones or the warm tones and I have to do sample after sample after sample, and you have to let it dry because the beiges definitely dry a different color than what's in the bottle. Okay, yeah, so you guys can see all right. And this is so fun. This is like a, a quickly satisfying kind of a project. So as far as, um, you know, painting other shoes, um, like I said, a, a lot of Air Jordans come in for that. Um, and you'll see a lot of those on the internet, um, all different types of Air Jordans. I've done a ton of them. I have them on my YouTube channel, if you ever just like to watch the process. And on the YouTube channel, I can actually do an overhead shot for you guys, but I can't so much here yet, but I will work that out. There we go. Wonderful. Thanks for watching everybody. It's really great to have you with me. And so pretty soon we're gonna have a live chat set up as well so I can take your questions. As far as the questions that I get on a regular basis, it is a lot about you know how to mix the color, how to um, apply the paint, and they may seem like basic things, but until you do it, you don't realize, you know? Especially if you're doing a very flexible shoe you wanna make sure that you put those coats on pretty light. Mm. 
This is so awesome. There we go. So Angelus, you know, I think the, uh, if, if I heard the story right, Angelus uh, was bought out or the son took over. And ever since he did, he has just been doing some really cool stuff. They've come out with, I wish I could show you guys my color collection, but they've come out with awesome neons. They've got some glitter that uh, colors that are just really great. I like to use those on my custom sandals. But you know, you can really see the difference. You know, and I'm gonna do uh, two light coats. And the way to, you know, again, to if I did one heavy coat, it could really make it look fake. You know, like it's been fakely painted. So there's, uh, it's worth just taking your time. And I like to do the white first rather than this black because if I did the black first and then did the white, and if I got a, like a wonky line, you can see it easier when you're in the white than you can in the other color. So I like to do the white first and then I'll come in and trim in with the dark color. I wish we were painting this thing, um, this South Beach green, cause this, that would be super fun, but it's not my shoe. All right, isn't that fun? And I'm liking that. There we go. The Angelus paints do come in um, bigger sizes if you need a bigger size I have some I do my neons in the bigger colors and um, they also have a gloss finish and they have a matte finish if you like to do that um, I did something on my cobbler uh, my at home series I did a, a painting master class and I uh, used the gloss I also did a video uh, in connection with Tandy Leather, and it was about sandal making, five sandal making tips. And I did this uh, stencil on the sandal, really beautiful uh, hibiscus, and I painted it red, and um, that was really fun. I put some gloss, I got to use a, multiple colors because it was a flower and it really, you know, it worked, so that was really fun. And any of you that love shoes, I think if you're watching this video, you have some affin you know, affinity to shoes. And um, so making sandals are super easy. That sandal video, you can make those sandals at home. Everything I put out for you is so that you can do it yourself. There we go. This is fun. So I'm gonna let this dry, and while I let this white dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do some of the black. There we go. I love it, so much fun. Okay, it looks better already. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna let that dry. Put my brush in here, and we'll move on to some black. Let me get my black really quickly. So like I told you, I, I really do buy the neon colors. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love them. They're, they're really great and they're so affordable. Um, you know, I never say what the prices are because they're always in the same ballpark and they can change from season to season, but all different kinds of colors. And then you can, um, you know, maybe watch some of my videos about how to mix color and you can do variate the, uh, the shades and I'll do all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, so got a little black. Move this stuff out of the way. Okay, and then tomorrow I'll be doing a video on repairing these Louboutins. And I'm gonna be using Angela's sells a product called Walk on Red. And so uh, that's the same color that is the shade of Louboutin soles. And so I'll be using that. I'm actually going to be resoling the bottom of them. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. 
I love it. Okay, how long does it take for the paint to dry? I would wait about at least an hour before I put my next coat on. I do get kind of impatient sometimes, so I might come in, but uh, we need, we'll move on to the second shoe anyway, in case somebody joins in our cast a little bit late. Oh, that looks so nice already. Wait until I get that uh, second coat on there. All right. Very, very nice. This is so great. So, um, you know, you know, you got holidays coming up. Um, I think a really great gift pack, and I'm gonna do a video on it, is gonna be, you know, like that set. I put this set on Amazon of the uh, different basic colors that they offer. And I think it even has, let me check. I think it even has some metallics in there. But that's a great gift set. And I wish I had that set of five sets of brushes. They're so awesome. I wanna show you what they look like. They're so fun. And then you don't, you don't mind committing it to something. There we go. And I'm gonna do this little edge here. See how easy that is? I guess I do use this brush a lot. This is that half inch brush. Uh, but I like it because it's got a really um, fine angle on it, so it gets right into these straight spaces. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna do a little bit of a trimming in here. And I have found, I am a very impatient person, but when I rush, I make my mistakes and then I have to go back and fix them and it takes me that much longer. So I've learned to just kind of take my time, do it right the first time and try to enjoy the process a little bit more because that's why I'm doing this. All right, so one side. Wow, what a difference. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna compare it to the other one so you guys can see. I mean, and this is only with, uh, can you see that? Let's see if you can see that. Hey, thanks for the stars. Whoever's giving me stars, you're awesome. I'm totally a star freak. I love getting, <laughs> getting cheering on. Okay. So let's see here. I think you guys can see them. Yeah, great. Uh, so what a difference already. And I think what I'll do is, um, yeah, let's keep painting this one and we'll, we'll move on. Okay. Oh yeah, so I did this video and it's, uh, it was part of my Masterclass at Home series about painting. Well, I think it was painting, yeah, it might've been gluing. And I have this um, uh, Kobe Bryant sneaker that a customer asked me to uh, renovate for him. And it was awesome. It was like neon green, red, yellow. Oh, it was so fun. I love it when I can use the colors. And then I also did a video um, dyeing a fluvog bag to match her shoes. She had these peach, it was a neon peach and hot pink pair of shoes. And I took her white, uh, it was either a Gucci or some kind of a handbag, and I painted it to match. And that's where I used those neons. And it just was so fun. But because I was doing the entire bag and the handle is soft, if I would have put that paint on really thickly, thicky, thicky, if I would have put it on really thick, then it would have cracked. So I actually watered down the paint significantly. Like there's a segment in there where I had to do, shoot, I probably did 30 coats, but they were really watered down. And it was fun to do, but by the end, it, it really got the color, but had no, no flaking or cracking. This is pretty easy because it's a large surface. Okay. And we'll just scoot around that little Adidas logo there. Oh, she's gonna be so happy. I knew she would, especially with the um, 
cleaning. The cleaning makes a big difference. I'm just getting right in there and see this brush is so nice because it just gets in all that detail. Okay, something else. This is a water-based paint, so you can clean it up. You're, it's easy to clean up the brushes. Um, the other thing about these brushes, and you will always hear me tell about them, is that they don't get little random weird hairs. You know, like I bought this set of brushes and they were kind of junk. These little hairs would come out and ugh, I'm gonna throw that away. Uh, so these are nice because they don't, um, especially when you're doing this detail work. Okay, let's do the tongue. That's the fun part. Oh, and I'm gonna do this back. Like sometimes when I'm doing a polish, I will um, paint some of these edges. Like I've got this little tiny edge where this leather is hitting and I'm gonna paint that because right now on this side, it looks worn and it's kind of a gray color. So I'm just gonna darken it up. And believe it or not, all those little subtle details make a difference. Especially you wanna think about the view when somebody is looking down on the shoe, because that's the most important. When they pick it up, they'll still look at it this way. And then later on, they'll see it as they're wearing it, you're looking down. So you wanna take that into account. Like for instance, I really, um, following my own advice, these right here should all be painted. They're kind of gray. And it's surprisingly enough, like I'll even come through at the very end, I'll cut any little extra threads that are sticking up. Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Um, the other thing, that's good to know is that a lot of shoes out there are not even, they're not real leather, which means that it's paint on fabric. And over time, that paint peels, gets crumbly. So you can actually sand off the old paint uh, with a real uh, mild sandpaper, a mild grit, and then come in and repaint it. So this is great. Okay, now, on this part here, where the white meets the black. I did the white first, which was nice because a little bit of it got onto the black. And now I just went over this with a nice dark black line. It looks great. There we go. She's gonna love it. I am only doing one coat on the black. All it needed was a little refresher. But I think, you know, enough time's gone by. I think, you know, you know, but I think you know. It's nice, you know, that's how I'm using this to clean up little edges. Pretty sure helps. And again, if you get a, the whole packet, the one with the extras, you don't have to worry about going through them. Okay. I like that. <coughs> You know, you got to make sure to look around because I would have missed this. She's got some threads coming off. I'll cut those off. This will be so sharp. Sure to miss that Adidas. There we go. And I'm going to get the edges because <clears throat> that's what she'll see most when she looks down. And this just puts a nice gloss. I actually use the Angelus when I make my custom belts. I paint the sides of the belts like this with this Angelus color. I actually paint, oh, I've done whole belts with the Angelus paint. You know, custom orders, it's so fun. It is so fun. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move back to the white. That feels pretty good. And for the sake of the show, the show must go on. Okay. And I think we'll put just a little more white in there. I like to mix colors. That's awful. That's a, a whole lot of fun. Okay, so I think I'll just start up here again. Hope you guys can see okay. nice. The 
shoe has all these ridges, it's almost like a converse. So if that's the kind of shoe you're doing, I get a lot of people with vans, vans, they're, they kind of are back for a while. side again. Right. And like I said, um, if we miss this, let's keep track of time, we're doing pretty good. If we miss the final, which we might not, I think we're all going to be here together. Um, I always, on when I post it to my YouTube channel, I'll put the after pictures there in case you want to see how they ultimately turned out. More paints. I hardly ever really add water to my paints. Um, uh, you could tape off the shoe too, that's another thing. Um, I've been doing it for a long time, so I've got a bit more of a steady hand, but if you don't trust yourself, you could run you know, some painter's tape along here, of course, before you paint it. Um, and that's always doable. See, now I'm, I got a little bit of white on that black there, and I will use this to clean it up, but I'll probably, um, well, that cleaned it up pretty well, but I like perfection, so I'll come back afterward and do my final line around the edge in the black, just to make it look sharp. Okay. There we go. And uh, if any of you are just now tuning in, we're talking about the Angelus paints. We are uh, first prepping it with the cleaner. And uh, we're also using these wonderful paint brushes. And let's do this. Go, very nice. Oh my gosh, uh, tomorrow's video, if you guys are able to join me, these Louboutins are so awesome. I have like four pair we're gonna look at tomorrow. And I love using the reds, any excuse. There we go. In my shoe business, which I've had for 20 years, uh, <clears throat> it's always fun, I always wanna carry the fun stuff, but people always buy the basic stuff. So you know, the blacks, the browns, the neutrals. So when I get a chance to play with these really fun colors, it's so much fun. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry now. I really want to let that dry and settle in. So there we have it. I will probably do um, one more coat around here once it's really dry. And then, I, like I said, I'll come in with my very fine tip. And let me show you this. There we go. Okay, so, I um, don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna move in a little bit closer for you. Okay, let's see. I'll show you my very favorite brushes here. Okay, I'm coming over. Okay, here we are. So I've got this great brush. This is my half inch brush. This is my other brush. This is the one that I've been using to um, kind of clean out the little edges. And this is the one I'm gonna go back with the, with the black. Then we have, they've got this one too, which is just a nice little uh, square one. Mine's kind of bent, <laughs> but it works great too. I really do like having this angle though. See that? There we go. That's a nice one, and it's actually pretty small. So, um, but they come with so many. I mean, I, we have in one packet, you get these really tiny, fine, fine tipped ones, some more kind of a calligraphy pen uh, brush. Oh, those are great. So I really like those. And then in the shopping cart, I've also provided another link to brushes that are like this. 
I use these for my dining primarily with big spaces like a couch or an ottoman. And I think in this kit here that I picked for you guys on the paint, let's just talk about the paint for a minute. Um, yeah, see they've got white, black, red, they've got a gold, they've got a silver, they have the pink and the blue. I mean, you can really, and these are all four ounces, so it's plenty, it's this big. And especially I would at least get the white this big because I use it a lot to mix all my other shades. So I love that, that's really great. And let's go back here, let's take a look at yeah, see those brushes are two sets in that pack, which is really great. And then I included a link to uh, this really cool Adidas. Um, they show it in the black, the black toe front, but really it's the almost the same shoe. You could paint that to do, you know, all different kinds of ideas. I wish we were painting it mint green, but I know that's kind of bold. All right, so for those of you that stay tuned through this whole thing, thank you. Um, that's about it. Like I said, I'll post the finish on my YouTube channel, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this next one in case there's somebody who's just joined me and uh, we're gonna walk through this one. I'll just do this again. Um, like I said, this is for our client and uh, this is part of my shoe repair business. And we are going to wash this shoe with my cleaner and then we are going to go ahead and paint it. And I want to definitely remove those laces so that I don't get any white on them accidentally and then have to replace them. That's no fun. Uh, definitely we're going to get the uh, surface dirt off of this. And like I said, I've already sanitized this shoe. I have one of these little ultraviolet ozone lights and I have it in a big Tupperware box, a big one, or not Tupperware, but you know, a big plastic box. And so I take all of my daily incoming projects and I put them in that box and then I set them on a timer for about 15 to 30 minutes every night, you know, once they get a treatment once. And uh, they, it sanitizes the shoes and if you're, I'm going to do a video on all of my uh, sanitizing that I've done to upgrade my business to be more safe. Okay, so now we're going to clean. Again, I'm using the Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. I use the gallon because I do so many in my business here, but I also offer it in the uh, 8 ounce. And the 8 ounce is what I recommend. It goes pretty far. You want to shake it because there are little tiny crystals in the bottom. And those crystals are what lifts the mold spores and the dirt to the surface of the shoe. So with that in mind, and I of course love to use gloves, the key to this is you want to get the suds. Oh, yeah, I moved this, I just did all that work. Okay, so here we go. So you want to really get that suds going, just like that. And this is going to, especially in fabrics, I swear this stuff is like magic. It totally lifts the color. If you've got a coach, especially coach has got that upholstery fabric, you know, a lot of their bags, um, suede, leather. Um, so I'm really gonna get that set. If you are a person that deals with um, salt on your shoe, you've got the winter coming up and so you know the salt on the sidewalks and stuff this cleaner is really great and then i would follow it up with a good conditioner which i have on my cleaning segment of my amazon shopping cart and this is the stuff so this this product will not hurt anything but if you are worried about it just do a test area on your item and make sure so uh as i was mentioning earlier you can almost never clean a, sh a, a white sole like this back to, to white. You have to paint it. And even polishes don't work. Trust me on that. You need to paint it. And this leather, this is leather paint specifically made to be flexible with the bend of the leather. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Um, <clears throat> I will have live chat set up sometime soon. So I would love to hear from you guys and know how, you know, where you're from, all that kind of good stuff, and answer your questions. 
um, like I said, I gotta get that life set up. I have a website, terryedmonds.com, where you can send me an email if you have a specific question. I get a lot of that. People send me their shoes from all around the globe. And it's pretty fun. I specialize in the high-end shoes, but it doesn't matter. I also specialize in equestrian stuff. I mean, all kinds of stuff. If it's crafty or leather crafting or something, I can do it. So here we go. I am using the Angelus, just the plain white. The shoe was white, so plain white leather paint. And it does come with the brush in the lid if you need to, but I don't love the accuracy of that brush. So I like to use my own. And also I'm a little more impatient. <laughs> so I don't want to take forever putting it on with that tiny little brush. Okay, here we go. And I'm doing the white first before I do the black because the white shows mistakes more. And if you want to go back in and trim afterward in the black, it just looks really sharp. And I just like to take my time. I'm using my half inch brush and it's uh, really putting on the paint pretty well. Go. If you're a Nike freak, and I see, I have a lot of customers that are Nike freaks, they bring me all their Nikes to have them re glued. Um, and when you do that, you kind of want to paint over the soles again and make them look really sharp for them because usually these guys collect them. So uh, I always like to paint. So my suggestion is if you are that person that's watching, then I would recommend getting the big bottle of the white acrylic paint in the four ounce. This is the one ounce and this is the four ounce. So I would get the white in the four ounce. Angelus is an awesome, awesome company. They're very um, up to date right now. They're very modern. Uh, they've got a big YouTube influence. I, I'm sure they're probably on Amazon somewhere, but you watch me paint shoes, it's more fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm sorry, I hope you guys can see. Yeah, these brushes are so great. Um, I think, you know what I should add to my cart, which I'll do, I'll add a really good color wheel. Um, something that you can put into your studio at home and go back and rely on, and how to mix colors, how to get the lighter shades. It's really awesome to be able to do that so much fun if you love to paint um if i were if there's somebody watching this this is trying to paint like a sofa or a chair or something like that um you really want to do a test swatch first and let it dry overnight and do it um do it pretty thick so you know what the ultimate color is going to look like right but when you go to apply it add water and then do multiple multiple coats because it'll make it so pliable that when somebody sits in it and it bends and flex that it won't crack on you so that's a that's a trick and if you're using a if you're painting a bigger surface than just this i would use the bigger brush i would use something that doesn't show the paint streaks as much this will kind of smooth out as it dries and it won't show like a paint mark because you don't want it to look like it's um you know a home done project you're putting the effort into it so i would uh, keep that in mind what kind of an applicator you're going to use i am just going right through this paint all right this is the fun part i love painting the parts that make the biggest difference it's like immediate gratification Yeah, look at the sun just turns this plastic totally yellow. There you go. So tomorrow with the um, uh, Louboutins, 
I'm actually going to put on the red non-slip uh, soling material on them. And then at the end, I'm gonna take my walk-on red from Angelus and I'm going to paint the edges of the sole with that. So it just blends in and looks super sleek. And that'll be a really fun project to do. And I have to do it anyway, so you guys can join me and do it together. Yeah, this is fun. Um, I did, I'm gonna do another uh, holiday gift idea. So depending on the person that's watching today, if you're trying to build your craft supply, definitely the paints, the brushes. Um, if you're trying to build your um, at-home business by doing your own shoe repair, I have some followers that are trying to learn those skills, then um, I'd also recommend a couple of other things like an at-home sewing machine that I got on Amazon. I'll be doing a review on that. And, um, some basic hand tools. Look at how fun that is. Oh gosh, this is so great. I could paint all day. Uh, this is really kind of cool. Let's say this person wanted to put a non-slip pad on the bottom. I have this color in a non-slip surface. That'd be so awesome. I should tell her to do that. <laughs> I really want to get this South Beach, uh, green in there, you know? I wanna play with this South Beach somehow. But it, that'd be funny, I should show her. And I'm not doing the bottom. Um, you know, you could. I did a Louis Vuitton um, loafer. Uh, it was like a high top. And I painted the whole thing. But this person's gonna go out, walk on the surface of the dirt, and it's just all gonna rub off. Or you could take a wet towel and go over it. You could use a cleaner and go over it. So I'll do that before I hand it back to her. But anyway, that's my suggestion. I wouldn't waste your paint on that. All right. Let me get to look and make sure I got everything. And I also want to make sure I really get in these edges. All right, uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and go, and let's do the black. Did I clean this guy yet? You know what, uh, clean the outside, but I didn't clean the inside. Let's do that before I paint it. And I basically, like, if you have that issue where you're gonna have some a lot of cleaning this winter, you know, you're walking on, you got your favorite boots, you know, your suede boots that are, you know, waterproof, but then they get dirty on the outside. I like to dedicate a Tupperware brush. And then I also sell these um, nylon brushes. And there's some with a handle that I usually suggest. I use, I don't know why, I, I think I like this because it has so much coverage. But anyway, uh, so if you have to do a lot of that kind of stuff, I just suggest, you know, putting a little kit together for yourself so that it's easy to do and you're more motivated to do it because it does make a difference. Even um, guys that do construction work. Okay, so here we go. Now we are going to, you know, I'm gonna go around, as I'm looking down, I can see edges that I didn't get. And I wanna get them right now because the black is gonna be my trim later. Let's do this. There you go. And sometimes if you're noticing that you've had your brush in the water, you go to pick up your paint again and it starts to get too runny, it means you still have water in the brush. And you probably wanna get that out because it will really uh, weaken or dilute the paint. It's okay if I get a little bit of this on the black. I'd rather get it all and then come in and trim over it with the black in a minute. Go and
Okay, that looks much better. All right, we're gonna let that dry. Um, I think, you know, I could probably go over it with the black now. I think I'll do that. Let's just do it while we're here. Um, we've got a little bit of time left. Uh, for any of you who uh, are going on with your day, thank you for joining me. It's so awesome. You just don't know how much I love it. You know, uh, I'm out here on this little island of Maui, and I love it out here, but it's really nice to connect with people um, from around the globe. Okay, we're going to make this fast because i got to open for business today, so here we go. See, now this brush is too wet. That paint didn't go on very well. Let's try that again. There we go. Ooh, that looks so good. That is so satisfying. I love it. And of course, I don't want to get it on the fabric. All right, I love it. Let's keep going. Getting all of these edges. great nice very nice and uh, dip this side here and we are put a little bit more on there so this is a real leather shoe I love that you don't you know it's hard to get real leather these days especially inside and outside and on the sole that's a real gem if you can find those uh, just because they're forever repairable this is nice boy I tell you these paints and they last a really long time um, they don't really dry out if you keep them covered properly and they're just so smooth I don't get clumps in them there we go. Look at how sharp that looks so far. I love it. Okay, here we are. And we're just about to wrap it up here. I again will uh, go over the final trim at the very end. We're not going to be able to see that today because I need to let it dry. But um, I will put the after pictures on when I repost this on my YouTube channel. And let's get the tongue. got black on my apron. That's exactly why I wear an apron. Okay, very nice. Oh my gosh, that looks so great. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And I think we're gonna end with that. Yay, oh my gosh, thanks for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you're watching this on the replay, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on Amazon and you just found me, uh, follow my videos. It's I don't just do shoes. I have other uh, projects coming up. I do gardening and some other stuff. So I'm looking forward to sharing all of that with you. And from Maui, aloha.